up with all of these things. Welcome back. I'm excited to take you guys along for the next few days of my life. I just got ready, but I'm really not feeling the look today. I feel so bland. I'm getting my hair done on Saturday and I cannot wait because I just need a refresh. I'm really in the mood, but starting off the day, I am just getting some work done while Connor's down for his first nap. And then once he wakes up, I want to return some books at the library. I also want to get some photos developed. He is eight months old tomorrow. And so I try to fill out his little baby book as life kind of goes on. I'm going to make a crock pot kind of barbecue chicken recipe that we're going to have tonight. I was actually meaning to do this yesterday, but I, for some reason, could not find my crock pot for the life of me. I typically only use it for the fall time, so I couldn't find it. Not sure what the rest of the week holds, but I'm sure lots, lots to bring you along for. and we're gonna go run these couple of errands really quick. It's pretty toasty though, so about to crank that AC and get these errands checked off the list. Back home now, I'm gonna go ahead and put together a little snack plate as a lunch because I'm hungry. It's about one o'clock. Here is our snack plate. I'm gonna put some of this Ithaca hummus on. The French onion kind is delicious. I just tried this recently. Got some veggies, some cutie oranges, and then some sweet potatoes from last night's Ugh. dinner that are a little overcooked, but they'll still be good. I actually impulsively bought some curtains for Connor's room at Target. I've been putting off actually putting curtains in his room because it's a little bit confusing the setup in there. So we're gonna try it. Worst case, I can return them. We are renting this place, so I haven't really wanted to put a ton of effort into drilling in holes to put up a curtain or anything, but we are gonna be here for the next coming year, so. I think it's about time we put some curtains in. My sister-in-law always makes this shredded barbecue chicken, and so I'm making it today in our crock pot. Essentially, I just seasoned up the chicken. I'll have the exact recipe down below, but season up our chicken. I just did garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper, a couple tablespoons of white wine vinegar, and then your choice of barbecue sauce. I found this one at Whole Foods and the ingredients are really, really good on it. The sugar content is pretty low and it's local. It's from Austin. And then you're just gonna cook this on high for four hours. That's supposed to be it. So I also told you I'd be cutting up a watermelon in basically every vlog for the rest of the summer. And I wasn't lying. This one actually doesn't look that great. So we'll see if it turns out good it's huge i've never gotten one from whole foods before but it was really busy when i was picking one out so i got a little stressed and just grabbed one but that's actually pretty good i am now going to store all of connor's old clothes i got some storage boxes to do this and i feel like a lot of people get emotional about this <laughs> I don't know, for some reason it doesn't make me emotional putting away his old clothes. For me, as he's gotten older, he's gotten so much more fun. Of course, when he was younger, those moments were special in their own way, but I'm having so much fun with him right now. He is just so, so happy and like loving life, full of life. And so, I don't know, it makes me happy to know that he's growing and figuring out his body, figuring out what he likes. I also ordered this swimsuit. I saw Christian Johns share this on her story and I've never seen a swimsuit like this. It's essentially a one piece that has a little skirt on it. It looked so cute and I have one swimsuit that I feel really comfortable in right now, but that is kind of it. And I just wear it all the time. It's from Hue. It's blue. You've probably seen me wear it before, but we have a trip coming up next week, a beach trip. It's our first family vacation, just us as our little family. And so I wanted to get a swimsuit. I also got a floral pattern and I'll probably see if I like it. And if I like it, I'll keep both, but I also have this mound of laundry to do. So let's get to it.
just made myself some electrolytes. It is so hot outside, so this just seems like an everyday necessity at this point. I've been taking Element for a while now. I'm so thankful to be partnering with them on today's video because this is a product I have purchased before working with them because it is just the best in terms of electrolytes. I think there's a common misconception that you only need to replenish your electrolytes if you are a hardcore athlete, and that could be farther from the truth. It is so important for everyone to be taking them. While it's essential, it's also tasty. This is the grapefruit salt one. They have so many different flavors. And what's awesome too is right now Element is offering my listeners a free sample pack with any order. That's eight single serving packets free with any Element order. This is such a great way to try eight of their flavors or just share Element with someone who you think would enjoy it. You can get yours at drinkelement.com slash Michelle Reed. There are so many different flavors. I love the raspberry salt, the citrus salt. There really aren't any that I don't like, and I think the variety pack is awesome for finding the one that you like best. When it comes to electrolytes, Element is unique in that it's everything that you need and nothing that you don't, which means that it's a lot of salt with no sugar. They have such a great formula too, the science-backed formula for why this is so good for replenishing your electrolytes. And I find for me personally, I have a lot less headaches during the day, especially in the afternoon. I try to replace an afternoon coffee with my electrolytes because that's probably gonna help me out more. And again, Element is offering my listeners a free sample pack with any order. That's eight single serving packs it's free with any element order. You can get yours at drinkelement.com slash Michelle Reed. This deal is only available through my link, which is at the top of the description box. Good morning. It is actually a couple days later because I don't know what happened to me, but I have been down for the count. I have not felt good at all, both Aiden and I. Thankfully, Connor has seemed fine. I'm on the mend today. I think by tomorrow, I'm gonna be totally back to normal. It was so quick. I don't know what came upon us, but wow, when you're sick, when you have a baby, the show must go on. So yeah, it's been a little bit rough here lately, but I'm feeling much better today. So I'm still gonna take it easy at home. And then I think by tomorrow I should be 100%, which I'm hoping because I'm supposed to see my friend Rose. Connor should be up here soon. Lately, he's been waking up around six and then I give him his pacifier and he sleeps till seven and it's been really, really nice. I have a lot of work stuff I need to get done today, but I would also like to do our scrapbook, maybe test out the curtains see what we can do in there in his room. I was also just sitting here thinking about the fact that my skin has cleared up so much since having Connor. I don't know what happened. I have struggled with acne my entire life pretty severely. I was on Accutane for a while. I have done everything for my skin. My skin has just always been a struggle, but ever since I had him for some reason, my skin has been so, so much clearer. I don't know why. Let me know if that's ever happened to you after having a baby. It's been such a blessing just to wake up and not feel immediately insecure about myself. So I just made Connor some banana pancakes for breakfast. This is just one egg, some banana, and then a little bit of flour. I didn't use quite as much as I did last time because they were too stiff. And when you're feeding baby things like this, it's pretty important for them to be really mushy. So these are nice and soggy, so they should be good. He wasn't a huge fan of them last time, but I'm trying to think of ways to keep introducing eggs each week. And this is an easy way. We just got another KiwiCo box in the mail. That's the subscription service we use for Connor's toys. Came with a bunch of just cute new things. I do have a code, not sponsored, but we love them. I do think, bless you. I do think I wanna start rotating his toys though. We have a lot going on right now. I think he's at the age where it makes sense to start doing that. I don't know why this is over here, but I wanna get a cabinet or something to start putting his toys. I think I would do it here in the living room instead of in his bedroom since our living room is bigger. His room is just so, so small. So I might start looking at Facebook Marketplace because I don't want to spend a ton of money on something like that. But also need a baby proof. That's another thing. He's not crawling yet. He's definitely trying. Kind of doing more of the army crawling, trying to figure it out. But I still want to stay on top of that and ahead of that. One morning, I just think he's going to wake up and he's going to start crawling. But all these toys right now, a little bit overwhelming. And I would like to gate this off too. I think that's what I want to do. The curtains make me a little nervous because I don't know, as he starts to stand up on things and pull, these curtains came with the house. So I don't know if this is the best area, but I love this area the most because it just gets such beautiful natural light. It's nice to kind of switch it up if we're in the other room by the kitchen. I'm about to hop on my call here in a second, but I wanted to share my outfit. I feel very me in this outfit, which I rarely feel like these days. It's just so comfortable and I love these jeans. They're from Cezanne. I'll link them down below. They're just such a great solid pair of jeans. And then this top's from Urban Outfitters. I wish it had another tie right here. I don't love 
this all showing right here but i think that it's cute kind of wish i would have sized up because the arms are a little bit tight but still cute can you hear me <laughs> no okay let me see no i might just not do that i like never get on calls anymore especially after having my son so i'm like how does zoom work again <laughs> Actually about to work on Connor's baby book for a sec, but you think Hi, baby. try to make him another bottle. I think he has kind of reverted back to like needing a bottle. Yeah. He was doing orange back for me. You can't take it personally. <laughs> I know when it feels personal. I don't take it personally. I just know it works sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. It's either he's scared, he's uncomfortable, or he's hungry. It's one of those. He's things. definitely tired. Yeah. And I'll hold you for your nap. Aiden's trying to get Connor down because I, for some reason, I've had trouble lately getting him down for naps. His first nap's pretty easy, but the second one, we did start doing two bottles during his wake time. So when he first wakes up and then before the nap, but I feel like now he's reverting into needing a bottle to fall asleep, which I understand is totally normal, but sometimes I get insecure because Aiden's so much better at putting him down for some reason, but he was even struggling with him, so. even know if these are gonna work but they're just these blackout curtains linen very very simple so i might actually try this right when he wakes up typically the first hour he's up he's pretty good about playing by himself most of the time and then progressively as he gets more tired kind of have to pull out more of the stops this is what we're trying so i don't know if this is gonna work because these are feeling like they're going to be too heavy for something like this. Aiden can figure out how to drill this in easily. It would be more renter friendly just to use the hooks, but obviously I want to do the safest thing, especially as he starts moving about. In a random chat while I unbox these, I'm kind of thinking of starting pelvic floor therapy, which is something that I probably should have started a long time ago, but I've been dealing with a couple of things. One, I have definitely been having to go to the bathroom more than I think is normal, more than I did before I had a baby. Could also be because I'm really drinking a lot during the summer, but I do think that has something to do with just a weakened pelvic floor. The past couple of days I've been at my peak ovulation and I have been getting such bad, I don't know if they're necessarily cramps, but it's just kind of like a heaviness. Actually, they definitely do feel like cramps. Maybe that's normal, but I had never noticed that before. Honestly, it felt so similar to when I get my period, which just feels kind of strange. I was actually watching another creator's video and I was reading the comments and a lot of people were talking about, she was mentioning kind of sharing a similar struggle as that. And a lot of people mentioned that that could be from a weekend pelvic floor. If you have done pelvic floor therapy, did you think it helped you? I don't really have trouble with holding in. <laughs> I cannot believe I'm sharing this on the internet. Five years ago, I would never believe you if you told me I was sharing this stuff, but it's so common. I think it's important to talk about, but I don't have trouble holding in my urine or anything. It's just that I'm having to go much more frequently, which I do think a certain extent of that is normal, but not something that you should just accept. I do think doing more Pilates, things like that would also be helpful. That's another thing I'd like to look into. But yeah, I don't even know what that looks like. So if that's something that you've done before, let me know your experience. Let me know if you thought it helped. Let me know how you even went about finding someone. Do I just find someone who takes my insurance? Is that how I do it? It's another thing to add to the list. There are just so many things. I don't know, sometimes it's just overwhelming, just taking care of yourself, going to the doctor, getting a physical, going to the dentist, getting your hair done, getting your nails done. I don't even get I stopped getting my nails done recently. It's just so much, so much to keep up with all of these things, which is why it's so important just to prioritize your health in general. So take care of yourself. I just tried on the swimsuit and I really like it. It is so comfortable. I think that the skirt on it is just really, really cute. Almost feel kind of silly because every swimsuit now is just so, I don't know, everything's out <laughs> everywhere. And so it's nice just putting on a swimsuit where you feel I don't know more secure this is the other pattern that i got i think it's super cute this is actually the one that kristen shared on her story but i really like it i'm not usually a huge fan of pattern swimsuits i just think that solid colors tend to be a little bit more flattering on me but i like it i got a medium i wish i got a small though it does feel a little bit big i'll probably still keep it the medium still fits though i think that it's cute couple of updates for you one aiden ended up hanging up the bar he was like we should not do trips so 
he's working on that right now and connor and i went to whole foods and i actually exchanged or i returned those swimsuits i'm gonna get a smaller size i'm like you know what i'm gonna get the size that i really feel the most comfortable in i'm trying to be better with purchases and just getting exactly what i want i'm also heating up some ground beef and i'm just gonna throw this together with some pasta sauce and we're gonna have pasta tonight so i'm trying to be better about using things in our freezer and our fridge instead of ordering food or just buying new ingredients for new meals this is actually ground beef that my mom got from a butcher she stocked our fridge with all this frozen meat when we were gone for a trip one time which was so sweet this is the last of all the meat i think we have some pork left if i'm not mistaken but it's really really good good morning i wanted to show you that the curtains are in they're definitely not the most aesthetic a beautiful situation but they do the job and we didn't really spend too much money on it we need to add some extra support in the middle but i think that they actually look really really good and it's amazing how before i had this makeshift blackout curtain set up and now it's just nice that we can have the windows open during the day now because before i just had those pinned up so it was always dark in here but now it's so bright and i love this room because of the shutters i think the shutters are just so so cute so I just put Connor down and unfortunately those blackout curtains are not true blackout curtains so I might try to find real ones later today. I don't know why they market things as blackout and then you get them and they totally aren't so I'm hoping he'll sleep okay. I threw a blanket over the rod yet again so hopefully that'll help. I'm not even sure if he really needs true blackout. He's just always used to sleeping in like a pitch black room so it's funny before I had him I remember thinking I wanted him to be able to sleep anywhere and I was gonna get him used to sleeping in a brighter area and that's so doable when your baby's a newborn. I was actually reading about it and I think that some babies are just born where they can sleep anywhere. It's purely genetic. I don't know if that's true. I read that somewhere. He might not even need a real blackout, blackout room, but so unfortunate and when your baby's ready to go to sleep there is no time to figure out a different situation so hopefully he'll stay asleep but i'm getting ready for the day right now i'm about to go meet rose we're gonna get a quick brunch somewhere and then there's a place that sells the kind of viral swedish candy we are both huge candy people and so if you have blackout curtains that you like that are true blackout curtains please let me know i always loosen my braids and then i end up loosening them way too much and regretting it so i think i'll probably just leave them like Oh, like that. I am back home just having a little work session in bed. It was so nice to catch up with Rose. The coffee place we went to, I'll put it on the screen right here. It was so good. They had an orange cardamom latte that we both got it was amazing sadly the wooden spoon was so picked over when it came to the candy but i guess that's how you know it's authentic because the owner said that they would have more in stock in a few weeks but it's so crazy now when something is put on tiktok or instagram reels just how viral it goes just the power of it there were so many people going in at the same time as us trying to get the candy that it's just crazy how powerful the internet is but sadly that did not happen i'm sure there's another place we could go to might check back in a few weeks but we'll see i am really excited because i painted some pottery with my sister jamie and i just got a text that it's ready for pickup so i think when connor wakes up we'll go pick that up I'm always trying to think of things to do that doesn't include being outside and so it's a little bit of a drive from us so i'll probably drive up there with him grab that and head on back home have a chill night for the rest of the evening no better feeling than getting your baby up from a nap let's go puppies let's go puppies back home i didn't really vlog while i was out but i wanted to share our pieces this is my first time unboxing these oh cute not a huge fan of the yellow <laughs> but super cute this is my special plate that i made the yellow was a lot lighter when I was working on it. It's still cute. This is what I did. I wanted to make a special plate to have for birthdays or beyond just birthdays. If something good happens for someone in our family or we just notice someone doing something well. You wanna see it? This is the other piece. Again, wish I wouldn't have used this yellow, but it's just a little folder. I didn't realize though that it came with a lid. So that's nice to have. I bet you like the paper. And then there was a Nordstrom rack nearby. And so I stopped 
in there because after going through Connor's closet, I just realized we don't have a ton of clothes for him for as he's growing older. And I thought that this little linen romper was so cute, especially for our trip going up to New England here soon. I thought that this would be sweet. You wanna touch it? Those rompers are my favorites. Anything that's just lightweight and comfy and easy to throw on. We're just gonna heat up some soup tonight, the two of us. Good morning. It is a fabulous morning because Connor slept still sleeping right now what will be 12 hours straight this has never happened he has slept through the night one more time than this but he woke up around like 4 30 but i was still sleeping through the night technically but this is next level this is crazy i wanted to vlog today because i'm getting my hair done i'm so so excited i am seeing a new hairdresser because mine's currently on maternity leave and i have not dyed my hair since i think 2020 is the last time i dyed my hair doing a little bit of color probably four or so inches off i want to get a decent amount off i just wanted to feel healthy i'm in need of just a lift i do really like my natural hair color but my hair just feels so flat right now i just really am craving something different still want to have a decently productive day but i did want to show you my pj set because i also got this from nordstrom rack and i didn't share it in my haul it's from calvin klein it is so soft i'm sure it's not real cotton but it just feels like a really comfy these are just little shorts but so comfy i'm wearing the medium i'll try to link it i should be able to find a link but i'm not sure what this grass is but it looks so comfy i want to run barefoot in it just got ready here's the outfit for today i'm wearing this top that's from lulu's really like it it's super hot today so perfect for today and then my shorts are from abercrombie i have a light wash version of these but the dark wash are also super cute just got here to my appointment i didn't really end up vlogging too much today because some days i just really am on like one-on-one -on -one mom time and i didn't feel like multitasking and doing other things during the day too so i also was noticing today that i have so much postpartum regrowth coming in for some reason it always wants to come on this side and not this side my hairline is always receding on this side but we got some new little baby hairs coming in hot probably won't vlog in here just because it's my first time seeing her i'm always a little bit shy but here is our before i'm so excited i can't wait let's do it i just got out i'm so not used to having my hair colored but just the perfect amount of color just a little lift oh my gosh this is crazy i haven't had my hair done in so long like this i love it i will link who i saw down in the description if you guys are in the dfw area i'm trying to get back home because i want to go see connor she did such a good job and it didn't take a crazy amount of time sometimes i'm sitting there for four hours at a time back home and about to chill out for the night so i just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching i'm still getting used to my hair i love it it's crazy how much of a difference just getting something simple done to your hair makes overall i feel just really fresh and i love it again if you guys want to check out element i will have them linked down below you can get a free sample pack with any purchase that you make at that link so definitely check it out and i will catch you guys in my next video